Hey everyone, ready for another deep dive? We're cracking open the case file on this block DAG presale. And let me tell you, there's a lot to unpack. Articles, YouTube videos, everyone's got an opinion on this one. Right, it's like everyone and their crypto obsessed cousin is buzzing about block DAG. Some are calling it the next big thing, others, well, not so much. <laughs> exactly. So we're diving into the thick of it today. What is BlockDAG, really? What's this presale all about? And most importantly, what do you need to know before even thinking about investing? And that's key, right? Because with any presale, and especially in the crypto world, it's buyer beware. We're talking early stages here, lots of unknowns. Absolutely. This isn't financial advice, just us trying to make sense of it all. Think of this deep dive as your chance to get informed, maybe raise a few eyebrows, and ultimately make your own call. Make sure you visit BrianGarvin.com, that's Brian with an I, and get your free affiliate guide titled 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. Simply submit your name and email and click the verification link sent to your email address. Okay, so block day, what's the elevator pitch? Well, they're billing themselves as a new kind of blockchain. Faster, more scalable, all those buzzwords. They're using a proof of work model, kind of like Bitcoin, but with a twist. Taking some inspiration from Casper, another blockchain out there. Interesting but you know how it is, right? <laughs> Everyone claims to be faster, cheaper, better. So let's cut through the noise. What's the presale looking like? Aggressive, that's for sure. They're claiming to have raised a ton of money already, some sources throwing around figures near $100 million. Wow, seriously, yeah. not messing around. Nope, and they've got this limited time bonus happening, 50% extra BDIG tokens if you use their code, you know, BDAG50. Ah, uh, the classic FOMO tactic, gotta love it. Right. And the marketing blitz, oh boy, influencers, partnerships with big names like Inter Milan and Borussia Dortmund, it's everywhere. So they're definitely going all in on getting attention. But what about the actual tech? One thing that caught my eye was this whole emphasis on mining. Yeah, they're really pushing that angle. They've got these mining rigs with names like X10, X30, you know, playing into that whole mine more, earn more fantasy. Right, right. But what's intriguing is the mobile mining aspect, mining from your phone. That's a new one. It is. And, you know, it's a smart move marketing wise. It makes crypto seem more accessible, less intimidating. But whether it's actually sustainable, that's another story. OK, so we've got the hype. We've got the promises. But let's be real. With every crypto project, especially pre-sales, there are always concerns. Oh, yeah. And we got a lot of messages from listeners about this one. Transparency seems to be a big issue. Like, who's actually behind BlockDAG? It's surprisingly difficult to find concrete information. Yeah, that's never a good sign, is it? You'd think with all this money flying around, they'd be shouting their team's credentials from the rooftops. Exactly. And it makes you wonder, what are they hiding? Some sources are even suggesting they're using paid actors in their promotional videos. Wait, seriously? Like the whole fake it till you make it approach. Yeah, seems like it. And it's not just the team. Some of their partnerships are being called into question, too. Remember that announcement about a UFC sponsorship? Yeah, with Alex Ferreira, right. That was huge. Well, it turns out some sources couldn't find any mention of it on Pereira's official channels, which is odd, to say the least. Oh, wow. That's not good. Yeah. And then there's the whole censorship thing. Apparently, some people who raise concerns or ask tough questions about BlockDag on Telegram and Reddit, poof their comments vanished. Yeah, we saw that too. And look, whether it's actually the BlockDag team doing the deleting or just overzealous moderators, it doesn't exactly inspire confidence, does it? Not really. It makes you wonder what they don't want people to see. It makes you wonder if they've got something to hide, right? I mean, wouldn't you want more transparency if you were pouring millions into a presale? Absolutely. It's a huge red flag for me. And it's not just about transparency either. Some sources are digging into their claims about mining profitability, and let's just say the numbers might not add up. Really? Like, what are they claiming versus what's realistic? Well, they're heavily promoting these high-end mining rigs, right, the X100s, yeah. saying you can make, like, a significant amount of BDG per day. But then you look at the hash rate, the difficulty, the energy costs. And it doesn't quite line up. Not even close, according to some experts. One analysis we found suggested that even with the most expensive rig, it could take months, maybe even years to recoup your investment. Wow, that's a long time to wait for a return, especially in the crypto world. Right. And that's assuming the price of BDG goes up, which is never a guarantee. Talk about a gamble. And what about this whole mine from your phone thing? Is that even legit? Well, technically, yeah, there are mobile mining apps out there. But realistically, don't expect to get rich mining Bitcoin on your lunch break. The processing power just isn't there. So it's more of a marketing gimmick than a viable way to make money. 
Pretty much. It's about creating buzz, making crypto seem accessible, but in reality, it's likely to generate more heat on your phone than actual profits. Okay, so that's mining debunked. But they're not just a mining coin, right? They're talking about this whole ecosystem they're building. Smart contracts, DeFi, the whole shebang. Right. They're trying to position themselves as more than just a one-trick pony. They're aiming to be the next Ethereum, the go-to platform for developers and businesses looking to build on the blockchain. Ambitious. But again, how much of this is substance versus hype? That's the million-dollar question, isn't it? We've seen this playbook before. Promise the moon, get everyone excited, and then crickets. And suddenly, the founders are sipping Mai Tais on a beach somewhere, and everyone else is left holding the bag. Exactly. That's why due diligence is so crucial here. Don't just get caught up in the excitement. Look beyond the flashy website and the promises. So where do we even start? If you're seriously considering this pre-sale, what are some steps you can take to protect yourself? Well, first and foremost, make sure you visit BrianGarvin.com, that's Brian with an I, and get your free affiliate guide titled 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. Simply submit your name and email and click the verification link sent to your email address. Read the white paper. I know, I know it sounds boring, but that document is your key to understanding the technical underpinnings of BlockDAG. And this is where a lot of people check out, right? It's like, oh, technical jargon, my brain hurts. I get it. But you don't need to be a blockchain wizard to understand the basics. Look for things like their consensus mechanism, their tokenomics, their roadmap. Basically get a feel for whether there's actual substance behind the buzzwords. Exactly. And don't be afraid to ask questions. Join their Telegram group, engage with their community. But, and this is crucial, don't just take everything you see at face value. Oh, good point. It's easy to get swept up in the excitement, especially when you see others jumping in headfirst. Right. FOMO is a powerful force. But this is where a healthy dose of skepticism comes in handy. Look for red flags, inconsistencies in their story, lack of engagement from the team. You know, those warning signs that something might be off. Like if all the comments are just to the moon <laughs> and rocket emojis, yeah. that's probably not a good sign. Exactly. Real communities have diverse opinions, critical questions, even some healthy debate. If it feels too much like an echo chamber, proceed with caution. Okay, so we're doing our research, we're engaging with the community, but we're also keeping a critical eye out for any red flags. What else? And this is a big one. Check the team. Who are these people? What's their background? Do they have the experience, the expertise to actually deliver on these promises? Because a flashy website and a catchy name only gets you so far, right? It's exactly. So look them up on LinkedIn, check their past projects, see if you can find any independent verification of their credentials. So it's like, show me the receipts when it comes to the team's experience. I like it. Precisely. And don't be afraid to reach out. Send them questions. See how responsive they are. A legitimate project will welcome genuine inquiries. Good point. Right. And if they're dodging questions or dismissing concerns, that's a major red flag right there. Absolutely. Transparency is key, especially in the crypto world where things can change so quickly. Okay, so we've covered a lot of ground here. We've talked about the importance of research, due diligence, looking beyond the hype. But ultimately, the decision to invest or not is up to each individual. Right. 100%. This is your money, your risk tolerance. We're just here to give you the tools and information to make an informed decision. Exactly. This isn't financial advice. It's just a starting point for your own deep dive. Perfectly said. So as we wrap things up here, I think the biggest takeaway is don't be afraid to ask questions. Challenge the assumptions. Be skeptical. And don't get so caught up in the fear of missing out that you forget to do your homework. Because in the world of crypto, knowledge is truly power. All right, that's a wrap on our deep dive into the Block Dag pre-sale. Until next time, stay curious, stay informed, and keep those thinking caps on.